Smelly. Garbage feet. can. Smelly garbage can, smelly feet. That's an excellent adjective. So I'm going to give you some sentences, and I want you to pick out the adjectives in the sentence. Okay. All right? Okay, look at Tanya's organized desk. Organized. Organized. Awesome. All right. Point to the large bucket. Large. Large. That's right. What is large describing? The size. Bucket. Bucket. That's right. Mm. So is the <laughs> sentence complete if you don't have the adjective in there? Yes. So what does the adjective do for the sentence? It puts it in the it gives you some detail. That's exactly right. Okay, Malcolm has a blue shirt. Blue. Blue. Okay, what if I ask you to pass me the green pencil? Green. That's right. How did you know which pencil I needed? Not uh, green. Yeah, to describe it. So if you're telling a story, what do the adjectives do to your sentences that you're telling? Focus better picture. How does your picture get better? Good adjective, by the way. Because if someone says there's a chair, that's you don't know what to picture if you compare it to if someone said a large wooden yellow chair. wooden chair. Awesome, it gives great detail, doesn't it? It can describe the setting better or the mood better or put a picture in your mind to help explain your story. Awesome. Now what if you're using more than one adjective for the same thing? So what if it is the smelly black garbage can? You need to separate them with commas. You need to separate your adjective with a comma. So if your sentence makes sense by putting an and between them, like that garbage can is smelly and black, then a comma between your adjectives is good. So you like to use descriptive words. It makes your stories come alive and sound rich and give all kinds of excellent detail. But one thing about adjectives is you don't want to repeat the same ones. We like a variety of adjectives in our stories. So we use something called a thesaurus. When I'm writing, I always have a thesaurus on my desk because I don't want to use the same words and I like to use better words all the time, new words, and become familiar with more vocabulary. So everybody pull out your thesaurus you don't have a book with you, get thesaurus.com. And we're gonna find, wait, before we do that, we need some words to start with. Give me some words that are adjectives. I'm gonna go with blue. So some that you've thought of or some that are new. Talented. Talented. Garish. Garish. Took the words right out of your mouth, right there. Orange. Orange. So all of the colors. Awesome. Work as adjectives. Small. Small. Bulky. Bulky. Fragile. Fragile. Spooky. Spooky, I like it. Crumbling. Crumbling. Fading. <laughs> One more. Creamy. Creamy. 